Hi there. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be going through my entire collection of candles and writing down the names of which ones I have. As some of you might know, I used to work at Bath and Body Works for a few years. And over those years, um, I accumulated quite a collection of candles and their products. I really like their body sprays too. I always carry a few of those with me. During COVID, when everything shut down, I was unemployed for about five months because the Montessori school closed. And we expected it to only be two weeks but it ended up closing for five months. So in order to make a little bit of money, I sold about half of my collection of candles. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of take inventory and see what I have left in my collection. So I've got my little notebook here. It's actually a sketchbook. But I'm going to be using this as a notebook. To write down the names of the candles. Also got a pack of markers, multicolored markers. They're dual tip markers from Dollarama. And I'm gonna choose a color to favorite color is yellow, but that's really hard to see on paper, so I think that I will choose this dark green one. I really like this color as well. using the fine tip side. And oh, a habit that I have, this would probably drive some of you nuts, but I did this in college too. This is just the way my brain works. Um, I always start notebooks with a designated purpose and I start using them like that and then I just need a notebook to grab so I end up grabbing it and writing in the back of it, writing on the last page of my notebook and in college I never remembered what class I was supposed to be in. Sabrina was in the same program as me and she always remembered for me. So I would just grab whatever notebook I thought I needed and it would always end up being the wrong one. So all of my notebooks had notes in the front and in the back. My notebooks kind of start here and here and meet in the middle. It's really weird. And it had notes from like every class, but I always knew where everything was. It's just kind of how my brain works, but good luck um, deciphering my notebooks. <laughs>
this is salted caramel or caramel as a lot of people say oh yeah never burned this one before but this one is very nice it's a very sweet smelling candle I would only be able to burn this one for a little bit um I believe in the United States, the bottom of the candle has the scent notes on it, but in Canada, it just has the name of the scent. So I don't have any of the scent notes for these. But salted caramel is my first candle. So let's write that down. Maybe I'll do wintry, like winter fall ones first, and then we'll do summery ones. So next I have got this one. This is vanilla balsam. Got this one in Canada. I've actually burned this one a few times. Um, I've had this one for several years, but I only burn it at Christmas time. So it's lasted me. Um, this is the smell of Christmas. It's like a sweet Christmas tree scent. It's lasted me a few years. Balsam from the White Barn collection. White Barn. Two. Vanilla. lid on this one. It doesn't belong on this one. This belongs to a candle that I burned on a long time ago. I've had most of these candles for like five years. And <laughs> which you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but like I find it so hard to make the commitment to burn a candle. Oh, I think this might be one Nope, this is one that I also got in Canada. The bottom looks different though. This one is called Frosty Air. So. It's got... It's like a fresh air, mint, like a minty fresh air scent. It's got this lovely dust cover on it with these really pretty trees and it's sparkly. And then some dust on the dust cover. Never burn it. Frosty air. That one is perfect for winter. So, three. Frosty. Frosty air. And then I have. 
have another one from that collection. You've definitely seen these candles in videos before. If you've been with my channel for a while, the texture of this glass is just so nice. This is roasted chestnut and cherries with that lovely sparkly dust cover. These did not come with lids. This one is also from White Barn, which is like the main candle collection from Bath & Body Works. They've got White Barn stores also, which are connected to Bath & Body Works stores. So, White Barn. Winter Cedar. Most of these have not been burned. Winter Cedar in this lovely navy blue glass. It's a very woodsy, smoky scent. Oh, it's just so fresh. It's a strong scent, but oh my god, it smells so, so good. This one is a classic Christmas time scent for Bath and Body Works. And also my favorite Christmas scent. Like besides the like tree, Christmas tree smelling ones, my favorite scent that comes out at Christmas time. Birds. This one is a few years old, so if you've recently picked up or have picked up 
a winter candy apple for yourself or the past several years it probably doesn't look like this one they change the packaging every year I love the sound of this glass though it's this frosted glass that makes this really I use this body spray all year round because I don't find it smells like strictly a Christmas smelling candle. Alright, as winter. Next for wintry, fally scents, I have three favorite candles. They're all tied for first place. <laughs> this one is one of them. This one is called Snow Mountain Lodge. The lid is so darn cute. It's copper with these little Christmas trees with snowflakes. cozy and the smell of the trees and like fresh air outside in the middle of the forest oh my god so so nice oh, love it snow mountain lodge one of my absolute favorite smells ever oh the heat just turned on Snow Mountain Lodge Snow Mountain Lodge Snow Mountain Lodge Snow Mountain Lodge Alright, next Here's another Kind of wintry one I really like the way this one looks It's got like a silver jar and I also put a lid on this one I also put a lid on this one because it came with a little dust cover this is one I really like also mm. oh I was just gonna for you to smell it bringing me back to my days as a sales, sales associate there so this one is called smoked birch with the silver sticker and the silver jar and just a plain dust cover there I never liked it when they didn't include the lids though it keeps its smell much better with a lid on it I find this is similar to winter cedar 
but it's a like a softer, almost like a sweeter, smoky scent. For winter also like this is probably one that I will only burn around Christmas time as well because it's just that really nice wintry warm like log cabin scent that I love so that one is called smoked burnt because I have had it for so darn long. <laughs> Love this. Ooh. Oh my god. This is called Wine Cellar. Wine Cellar. This, when I worked there, was always one of the best selling candles. like it's so hard to describe the smell it's got like a fruity kind of grape yeah it's got like a fruity winey scent to it but like you know when you go into a cellar and it kind of smells like like damp and like like that soil almost smell but like it's a really good smell it doesn't smell stinky or like moldy or anything it just smells like damp earth i find that's what this smells like mixed with sweet wine smell like it's just oh my god it's it's like a stunning scent and it's very it's a very pleasing scent This one next. This is Winter Rose. This one came out around New Year's when I bought it. I remember when I was working there. It's this really pretty, kind of like a wrapped present with some sparkly pink details. Oh my god, it's so pretty actually. And my my favorite kinds of scents, like I said, are like woodsy nature scents. So that's like tree scents and floral. my favorite candles that I have are the florals and the trees. <laughs> this one is called Winter Rose. It's definitely not a warm scent, but I would argue that this smells like fresh cut rose with like a little bit of maybe fresh air. I would say that this would also be appropriate to burn in spring. It just smells very clean and floral, like a pretty rose. But that one did come out as part of a winter collection, so I will write that with my winter and fall candles, so number 10. 
winter. scent. It's called Pumpkin Fireside. It's got that pumpkin spice kind of profile and then like a bonfire. <laughs> like a pumpkin on fire. It's like a smoky pumpkin like a very smoky pumpkin scent and it works like it's really really nice it's so it's like a really warm and cozy scent and oh my god look how cute that little owl is that's adorable that little owl and then collection here. I sold a lot of these ones so I don't have many from this as many from this collection as I did have. I used to have a lot. Again with that cute little pumpkin, the copper copper colored lid. Uh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> pumpkin coconuts. With these little trees and these little squirrels. Mm, it smells very much like pumpkin, pumpkin spice, but then like You know how you get like the initial scent and then when you breathe out it almost smells like something different Or it's like an after smell like you don't smell it initially, but like it smells different in a second like when you breathe out <laughs> Am I crazy? Like is that a thing? I smell the pumpkin and then like a second later I smell the coconut and it's a really nice, like, creamy coconut scent. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, so that one is pumpkin, coconut. the fall scents. Okay, let's do this one first. This one is not Bath and Body Works. This one is from Yankee Candle. <laughs> this is the weirdest scented candle that I have. I have not been brave enough to burn it yet because <laughs> it smells weirdly accurate. This is turkey and stuffing scented. Yes. The first time I smelled it, like, I'm used to the smell of it now, but it made me, like, gag the first time I smelled it. It smells so weird. Oh, I was just gonna get you to smell it again. Like, the smell has changed over the years because I think that the fragrance oil has kind of, like, settled. But it literally smells like, like a turkey. It's just the weirdest thing ever. I bought it because I don't know why I bought it. It was on sale or something, probably because of how gross it smells. <laughs> so maybe I'll gather the courage to light this one up and see if it actually smells, actually makes the place smell like a turkey's cooking. Because that's a really yummy scent. 
Thanksgiving dinner. Who knows about this one? I will absolutely let you guys know if I ever decide to give it a try. Like, I didn't even sell that one because I'm so, like, emotionally attached to that one. It's just, it's the weirdest one in my collection. Can't bring myself to get rid of it, but can't bring myself to burn it because it smells gross, but yummy at the same time. That one is turkey, turkey, and stuffing. Turkey and stuffing. Alright, next I have got this here. It's another white barn, a light yellow glass, which I like. I really like the white barn candles because they're easy to match to things. This one is mahogany coconut. Mm. If you've ever smelled the classic mahogany teak wood, mahogany teak wood, mahogany teak wood, that's mahogany. <laughs> From Bath and Body Works, this smells just like that but with a hint of, like, that nice creamy coconut scent. The same one that's in pumpkin coconut, I think. I just, I know coconut is a hit or miss. A lot of people love it. A lot of people do not love it. I do love it. I love the smell of coconut. It smells so nice. So that one is mahogany. Toasted Graham Latte. This is one that I bought because my co-workers convinced me to buy it. I didn't. I guess it smells a little odd to me still. It smells better than it used to to me. As I guess I've gotten older. <laughs> I used to think it smelled so weird. But they were telling me that it smells so and so much different when you burn it and they convinced me to get one to try it and as you can see I have yet to try it <laughs> it definitely smells like graham crackers like authentic graham crackers but it's got like a weird a weird scent in there to me that I don't really like but I'm keeping it because I will burn it one day and I will smell the magic that everybody is talking about, hopefully. So that one. Toasted. Graham. latte I've got here also one of the best fall scents I find one of the most popular ones marshmallow pumpkin latte marshmallow pumpkin latte this smell has a really special place in my heart this was the first fragrance mist that I completely used until it was empty and you know how scents get tied to memories like smelling a scent can evoke a memory that's what this one does for me this reminds me of the first like the first year of my relationship with Sabrina and how fun it of that time in my life. This is literally the smell of that time of my life. It smells so good. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. Marshmallow pumpkin. Thank you. 
two more fall ones. I really like this one too. This is another version of the mahogany scent. That's in mahogany teakwood and mahogany coconut. This one is mahogany apple. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly how you would expect it to smell. It smells like mahogany and then you get a kick of like tart apple. Very nice for fall. And I really the little granny apples up there. Fun fact, granny apples are my favorite kind of apples to eat. I love the sourness of them. <laughs> Mahogany. Another very popular one, and another one that smells so good, Marshmallow Fireside, with the maple leaf lid. Mm -hmm. This one is sweet and smoky. It's like a cool scent. It, it smells like cold air. And this one, I've burned a couple of these ones before. This is one that I love to burn in the fall. Like, this is just a classic. It's a staple. This and leaves is a fall staple, which I do not have. But that is my mom's favorite. Bath and Body Works best seller in the fall if they still have it. It was when I worked there. Next, we've got another fan favorite Black Cherry Merlot. I am a huge wine lover. <laughs> I think they've made this into body care now, which happened after I left. It's this gorgeous dark purple. I love this color. With the wine bottle and the glass of wine on the front. This smells really, really good. To be completely honest, it smells kind of whiny, but I find it smells more like grape juice or like a sweet wine, which my personal preference is for very dry wines. This is a gorgeous scent, and it smells so, so good burning. Which, I haven't burned that candle yet, but I have burned Black Cherry Merlot in the past, and I used to have Black Cherry Merlot wall plug-ins, too. Black Cherry Merlot. Have a lot to get through. Here's one that is also in my top three favorites. This one is Vanilla Birch. Vanilla Birch. This one is tied with Snow Mountain Lodge. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. It smells like you've just gone up to a tree. that like really sweet, yummy, yummy scent that just makes it not too strong. It just, it's so, such a good scent. And I like the wooden pattern that they have on the jar for this one. I like the neutral colors. This would be, this is super easy to match to any decor, which I appreciate. Sometimes candles can be a little bit to the 
decor in your house. So that was vanilla birch. This is one that brings back memories from my childhood for me, so. This is so specific and weird. So this is called Bourbon Maple Gorgeous Wood Patterned Jar. When I was younger, and I used to visit my grandparents, they used to take us to this museum called the Museum of Natural History was like always the highlight of, well, one of the highlights of our trips together was going to the Museum of Natural History. It was so cool. I love it there. I loved it there. Love museums and this smells just like that museum, like that specific museum. Bourbon maple. I don't know if it's the wood that they had. Um, the display is made out of, but they had like, like wooden displays with like animals and stuff. And it always smelled like this in there. I don't know, <laughs> but it just like, un when I smelled it the first time, it like unlocked the memory of my childhood when I used to go to the Museum of Natural History. <laughs> Okay, moving on to my spring summer candles. Oh, I gotta write that one down though. Can't forget. Oopsies. So that's candle number 20. Bourbon. Maple. Bourbon maple. Okay. I've got this one that kind of bridges like it doesn't, it's not a specific season candle I find. It's from the Aromatherapy Collection. It is the Comfort Vanilla and Patchouli scent. This is the lid with the little mortar and pestle there. Aromatherapy. I do really enjoy the Aromatherapy Collection and I really like it how over the past few years they've stepped up the Aromatherapy game in their store. They've released so many new fragrances. one's really, really nice. It's just a cozy scent. It kind of reminds me of being snuggled up in a warm blanket. I guess it is called comfort. <laughs> so. And then here's another aromatherapy candle. This one was a gift from one of my lovely co-workers last year. This is the love aromatherapy candle. Rose and vanilla. I love florals mixed with vanilla. I just, oh my god, it's so nice. I love the smell of rose. So, rose and vanilla aromatherapy. I've got to write down vanilla patchouli as well. 21. Absolute favorite tied for best number one spot candle is this stunning candle. I picked up multiple of these when it came out because I was sure I would never get to have it again. I don't know if they've ever released this one again. Such a nice smell. Sugared peony petals. Mm. It's so pretty and like, like, if pink was a smell, if the 
color pink was it smell? This is what it would smell like. It smells like flowers and sweet sugar and like a nice perfume almost. Sugared peony petals. The third of my three favorite scents ever. 23 sugared. Sugared peony petals. Okay, next. Let's do this. I've also got a few candles um, around my home. I've got Japanese cherry blossom in my bedroom. I've also got autumn day in my bedroom. I've got Golden Sands Yankee Candle burning in this room. And then I've got a couple downstairs. Oh, I've got a Woodwick candle. Pumpkin pumpkin pie. Or pumpkin caramel, something like that. Got that burning downstairs. And then I'm burning pumpkin berry berry pumpkin cobbler or something. I'm burning that downstairs as well. So I've got a few candles on the go. Oh, and I've got a Lavender and Cade candle burning in the bathroom. That one's from Chapters. That one was a gift from one of the students at the school. This candle is called Hello Beautiful. This is... I'm not sure if it still is, but it was a body care scent. They've got this in a full body care line at It's just a very fresh floral scent. Perfect for spring or summer. Hello, beautiful. This is a super soft scent. This would be really, really nice burned in the bedroom. Like, I don't smell any citrus at all. It almost smells like, like a warm milk and honey kind of scent. It's, it's not citrusy. It's a very soft, very comforting scent. That would be nice in the bedroom. 25. Honey. This is a nice summery scent, I find. Yeah, it, it almost smells like... It smells like a birthday party. Like, like birthday cupcakes or something. My birthday's in August, so this kind of a smell always kind of feels summery to me, just because my birthday's in August, I think. But this could totally be lovely in the winter, lovely in the fall. Strawberry cupcake. The list is getting long. Strawberry. Here's another one that is from their body care collection, their signature collection, Moonlight Path. Moonlight Path. This is K. 
Okay, this is another one of those ones that kind of like sparks some childhood memory for me. This is what my JK class used to smell like. Yep, this is what school smelled like when I was in kindergarten. I have a weird specific memory like that. I can remember everything from like back all the way back to when I was four kindergarten. I remember where everything was in my class and like the the daily routine. It's it's really odd. And this is what my class smelled like. Maybe my teacher wore a moonlight path. She was a very old lady. A very sweet old lady. Fun fact, she was also my mom's kindergarten teacher. <laughs> so that gives you an idea of how long she was teaching for. Um, I went to the same elementary school that my mom went to and her picture, her, grad, her grade 8 graduation picture was up on the wall and I was always like, that's my mom <laughs> anyway, so my bath it's a very soft, powdery floral is really cool on this one. Three layers. It's like ombre from pink to purple. It's called raspberry citrus swirl. Oh, and this is actually another one. Yeah, this is actually another memory one for me. This smells like the grandparents that I used to visit in Ottawa. This is what their house smelled like. It was always like sweet and very fresh smelling. I've burned this one before. Um, like to me, this smells like fresh summer air with like a hint of sweet, like soapy smell, like a, a sweet soap smell. different. Blueberries and cream. I used to love having stuff like that. Or my mom used to cut up strawberries and put them in milk with sugar. Mm. That's such a nice treat. Blueberries and cream. It smells like fresh picked blueberries. It's weird how they can capture those scents. Blueberries in like ice cream or yogurt or something. Really, really nice scent. And I love the color too. So that's candle number 29. Blueberry. spring scents. This one's the perfect spring scent. Fresh cut lilacs. Fresh cut lilacs. <laughs> this reminds me of being a kid and playing outside as all the flowers were blooming. Oh, and the fresh air coming in through the windows when the house was really clean, when my mom was cleaning the house. It was like cool, fresh air in the spring and summer. It smelled like this. Fresh cut lilacs. 30. Fresh. Cut. Lilacs. This 
one. I think this is the last one that really brings back memories for me. <laughs> yeah, so this one is called Spring Day Lily. And this one smells very similar to one that they had years ago called Pineapple... Oh, like Pineapple Flower, I think it was. It's a different scent, but similar to that one. It's a little bit sweeter than that one, I think. But that one smelled like the tree that we had in our front yard. As kids, we had like a cherry blossom tree in the front yard. We called it the caterpillar tree because there's caterpillars all over it. And uh, I love caterpillars. They're so cute. Yeah, this and when the flowers would bloom... They smelled really similar to this, and everybody had a cherry blossom tree in their front yard, and they would all bloom at the same time, so the whole area that we used to live in would smell like these trees for a few weeks, and it smelled like this spring day, really. Spring. Day lily. beaches. I've burned this one. Mm. It does remind me of like, of the beach. It kind of has like a suntan lotion scent to it and like a fresh salty air and like cologne. It smells like a man almost. It's very fresh. Love this glass. Alone, fresh beach air, and very slight tanning lotion scent. That's what this smells like to me. Mm. Oh, it makes me want to go to the beach. I actually just got butterflies thinking about going to the beach. In the hot summer sun, which is unfortunately not going to be around here for quite a few months. five candles left. So I'll just get ahead and write down 33, 34, 100. Feels good to not have so many though. It's really hard to store them and move them around and stuff. Okay, so this one was my favorite for a really long time. It's not anymore. I like other scents more than this one, but I do really enjoy this one. This was one of the very first candles that I ever got from Bath and Body Works. This must have been in like 2015. This is coconut sandalwood. Mm, yeah, so I also put this lid on it. These ones came with dust covers. It's got this really pretty light orange, like almost tan, frosted glass. And it smells mm, like beech wood, like fresh woodsy scent with coconut. So that one is coconut. Sandalwood. Coconut sandalwood. And then continuing on with the coconut theme. 
This is Wakiki, Wakiki Beach Coconuts. Wakiki Beach Coconuts. can smell it through the lid. <laughs> this is such a strong scent I find. Oh, I want to eat it. <laughs> it smells like, like, like a summer drink or something. Like coconut sunscreen and a pina colada and like fruity, but still like not a hot coconut. It's like cool, fresh air coconut scent. I really like the look of this one too. It's very tropical. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I have any left, but I used to have this in a travel size body spray and I wore the heck out of it. Mm, it's such a nice, nice summer smell. This one here, Hawaiian hibiscus. Hawaiian hibiscus. This pretty flower. This is a floral scent. This smells super duper refreshing. It would smell so nice to come into a house that smelled like this, to come out of the heat into like an air conditioned house that smells like this. Because this is like a cool floral scent. I it's definitely a tropical scent, but it smells cool like, and refreshing. I feel like I'm using that word a lot, but I also like the color of this wax with the blue flower. I think it's so pretty. Hawaiian hibiscus. This is my last Bath and Body Works candle. White Barn. My favorite smell in the entire world. Like if you asked me what my favorite scent is, I would tell you lavender. Just as a whole, there's other like candle smells that I really enjoy, but for me, I can never go wrong. I pretty much always have a lavender vanilla candle on hand. I've gone through quite a few. This is just my go-to. It's like my comfort scent. My go-to cozy, mm, like feel-good scent. Lavender vanilla. I love me some candle. It's not a Bath and Body Works candle. It was a gift as well. I think it was from Winners. It looks like a Winners candle. It has these really cute flowers on the top. It's by the brand Is number four, the scent Ditsy Daisy. Ditsy Daisy. Ditsy Daisy. Ditsy Daisy. It's in 
Oh, that's a really nice sturdy glass. This is one that I would burn. This is one that would be really nice burnt in the bathroom because it's such a fresh, fresh scent. Like soapy scent almost. Dead sea days here. Dead sea. that you enjoyed this and found it tingly and relaxing. I really enjoyed filming it and getting to sniff through all of my candles again and to kind of see what I've got and what I have to burn. so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful restful sleep. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment if you